Welcome back, everyone. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Madara on Tabletop Simulator. Uh, we're trying to uh, clear shit out. Uh, Remy just finished her turn using all her summon tokens. Let's go ahead and go to Damocles. He's going to heal for two because of the font. Uh, then uh, he's going to go ahead and pop uh, Sinful Privilege. Yeah, he'll do Sinful Privilege and actually attack the Earth Loa. So, Exhaust. Spend two stamina to attack. Okay, uh, 12 is definitely a hit, but I'm going to go ahead and risk it and do Hammer Helm and reroll this. Uh, okay, same roll. So, base damage is 0, plus 1 from Hammer Helm, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 damage in total. Uh, Elephi is out of range, unfortunately, so he's not debuffing armor, so it's going to be 2 damage base. Um, and then he's going to take 17. So it'll be a total of 19 damage. Putting it at 34 out of 36. And then that'll put him at 21 damage. And then he's going to heal for 2 from the Ring of Blood. And that will be it for him. Okay, uh, goes to DM. So DM is at 5 stamina, heals for 2, spends 2 stamina to move because it's muck. So 1, 2, 3, 4, sure, that's fine, uh, 4, and uh, we'll go ahead and make... Uh, Trying to think how I want to do this. So it was one, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's just not a good way of doing this. Um, what I'll do is I'll just move to here. And I'm going to go ahead and pop False Idol and get Resonance up and running. And uh, attack Hendrix. It'll be at minus one because it's attacking to Hindering. Uh, no one power die. Alright, that is 16 minus one, which is 15. Uh, it's going to do two damage base, three, from the sh uh, three and four from the shields. And I'll use the burst to go ahead and cast uh, Ruination for free. I'll target um, the Earth Loa and Hendrix. 6 plus 2 is 8, so 14. We'll start with Hendrix. Uh, 15. I've already exhausted it, so yeah. Uh, and then 12. Uh, what was it, 14? Yep, so that actually fails, and I'll roll the casting die. It doesn't matter, it's going to do enough. It'll do 5, which will finish off that Earth Loa. Okay. We cleaned up the monsters. There's uh, There's still two objectives on the board. <laughs> If we want to play with them. Um, yeah, it was a good. It was good that we did trigger the Earth Lower early because the other one that spawned didn't get a free, didn't get a free action from it. Oh, also, I completely forgot about Wilt. I completely forgot about Wilt from the last fight. Um, I'm gonna. I'll count, I'll go back and count how many hits I did. Uh, obviously, I, d I did a hit with DM here, so it's gonna do two damage there. Um, I'll check how many hits I got on with. Uh, Femke, so be right back. Okay. Uh, Fem uh, Femke actually hit five, to uh, five times, so that's another 10 damage from Wilt. So that was 75. Okay. Uh, all the other damage was from like magic and shit, so um, that didn't would not pr uh, add any damage from Wilt. Okay, so that's all been resolved. Uh, that was We did Damocles, we just did uh, DM. Uh, DM could attack. Because she does have the stamina for it. So I will go ahead and spend uh, three... St yeah, I'll spend three stamina. Oh, also, I killed the Earth Loa, so... You actually... Um, the shuffle doesn't work anymore, so you actually have to just draw the last one, which is 12. Alright, so that'll put us at 591. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. This, this battle's very, very chaotic. Alright. 
So yeah, I'll spend three stamina because she's in muck to attack Blighted Hendrix one more time. Uh, 14 minus 1 is 13, so it does hit. It'll do 1 damage plus uh, wilt, so 2 more. All right, so he's at 78 out of 300, so that's something. Uh, that was DM goes to Femke. Femke is going to go ahead and get rid of disease and get 3 stamina. I'll exhaust all of this. Uh, she is going to go ahead and uh, do uh, false idol and attack. All right, that is 16 minus 1 is 15, so it will hit for 2 damage base. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10, 11 because of wilt. So I'll be bringing it out to 89 damage. Uh, then I'm going to spend a stamina to quick blow. All right, 16 minus 1 is 15, so base damage is 2, 3, 4. I'll do 4 damage plus 2 from Wilt, so 6. So that'll be at 95. And then the last one is going to be 2 stamina and then Exhaust Brutal Slaughter for one more attack. Okay, uh, almost the best roll you can get. All right, uh, 19 minus 1 because of Hindering is 18, so it's going to be base 5 damage, 6, 7, 8, 9. 11, 13, uh, 19 from Brutal Slaughter, and then 21 because of Wilt. So it's going to be 116. So yeah, at this point in the game, on my personal playthrough, um, I, I did have summoning, but I had a Garry's. And a Garry's is definitely got his potential, but he's not good in this fight. He's really just good in fights where you can actually pull and push and take advantage of things like that. Uh, so that was Femke. Uh, that is... Yeah, that's going to be it for her. She can't. She used all her stamina to do all of that. So it goes Blighted Hendrix's turn. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and roll for poison. Do a whole one damage. Uh, there is no one adjacent. Uh, is there an opponent within SOI? Yes. Cast a spell uh, six against two the two farthest opponents. Uh, so two farthest opponents would be... It is... So technically... Oops, sorry. For some reason, it does not want to click. All right, so I do have line of sight for... Well, actually, it's within SOI, so it's out of range there. Yeah, within SOI. Uh, that is an... Oop, that is an exact diagonal, so I do have... One will be going after Remy. The other... Uh, that is an exact diagonal as well. So it'll actually go after Justice and Remy. So spell six. This time I remembered both of them. So we'll go ahead and roll it. Five plus six is 11. Uh, we'll start with uh, Justice first. It is a spell, so she does get protection. All right, didn't need it and didn't provide anything anyway, but 13 is good enough. Um, and then the other one's going for Remy. Uh, Remy gets to roll a teal and a purple. Fails it, so she's going to take a purple of magic damage. Uh, so she takes five, putting it at 34 out of 42. Uh, then uh, pull six, puts her here. And then uh, move to be adjacent to the nearest opponent. He's already adjacent, so we're good on that front. Uh, then it goes Blighted Hendrix's turn again. So we get to roll Poison. One damage. And then it's going to immediately open by going in a straight line through an adjacent opponent, which is Remy. So it's going to go in a diagonal. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And I'll push you out of the way. Push you that way. And then push you that way. I'm not sure exactly. I think you do the movement first and then you kind of push them out of the way. It's kind of, I don't know if you can just chain the movement. That seems even that seems a bit weird. In any case, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll for the um, the damage. 
Uh, I'll roll separately for each one. So I'll start with Remy. It's irreducible damage. Seven damage. Uh, that might actually take her out. Nope, she's at 41. She's alive, barely. Uh, and I rolled again, and I got a seven uh, for Nightingale. So that puts her there at eight. And then roll one more time for Justice, which is seven. Which is 14. Okay. Um, and then it's going to go ahead and make an attack against each adjacent opponent. Uh, so it's going to attack... Uh, Justice. Uh, Justice is going to use Marbus Threads and roll her dodge. Uh, okay, so she gets plus one on top of that, so she's at 16. Okay, misses. I do get a free counter from it, so I will... Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. Let's see what happens. Uh, gosh, she's just so bad at attacking. It's a, like I thought Rook was bad. All right, so it misses. It, it, he will counter, so I'll go ahead and resolve that now. Um, I'll go ahead and pop a cloak to go ahead and dodge. All right, one, so it'll be 13 defense. So now it's just going to kill her. Oh, wow, that's 17. All right, so 13, that'll be four damage base. So four damage base. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it'll do 10 damage in total. Uh, that's going to take her out again. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't have any other way of stopping it. Yep, so things are going to get ugly from here. So bye-bye, Justice. And then uh, we'll go ahead and roll for um, Nightingale's dodge. Okay, so that was uh, 3 plus 1, uh, so that'll bring her up to 15 defense. Okay, misses. She does get her free counter. So we'll make it. Oh, wow. All right. Um, I'll re-roll the 4. Actually, the 4 is minimum, so I'll re-roll the 3. I get 7, and then I'll use Kill the Messenger, because I hadn't used it yet, and turn that into a 9. So 16 uh, versus 13 defense, so it's going to be 3 damage base, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 17 from arrows, and then 19 uh, because of wilt. So I'll put it at 137. Get some. All right. And then he's going to go ahead and continue. Oh, actually, he's going to cast a spell against the opponent with SOI uh, with lowest conviction value, uh, which is... going to be a tie between Nightingale and Femke. Nightingale's higher up on initiative, so it's going to go after Nightingale. So casting die. 5 plus 6 is 11. Uh, we need a teal die for her. And uh, no way of rerolling, so she's going to get paralyzed. Okay. Then uh, cast a spell 6 against the two farthest opponents within SOI and deal a purple magic damage and pull. Uh, furthest is going to be Femke and uh, Nightingale again. So we'll start with the casting. 5 plus 6 is 11. Uh, we'll start with Femke first. Pull these two dice. Those seem about right. So she's going to take a casting die of damage and then I'll roll for uh, Nightingale again. Alright, so... Casting die, uh, sorry, purple die of damage. It's going to do three damage to both of them. Uh, they're both resistant to magic. Okay. A lot of people are beat up right now. It's Well, it's actually kind of, it's more like it was the same people getting beat up over and over again is what happened. Um, so also this will be a pull. So it's going to pull, uh, boop, 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 like so. Because it's pull six, so yeah, get some to there. All right, um, then that ends the round. So we'll go ahead and start a new round. All right, uh, it goes Nightingale first. I'm gonna go. Does uh, she is alive? So you know what? I'm gonna pop the um, I'm gonna pop the Augur Pager to go there. 
Uh, his dodge is or uh, not his dodge, but his counter has been used already, so I'll delay that for a bit longer. Okay, uh, Nightingale goes first. Uh, she is paralyzed. The paralyzed is going to wear off, um, and the disease is going to get removed by the font. And unfortunately, that's that's her turn. She can't do anything else. So this this fight might actually go south, just simply because of really bad luck. Um, goes to Rook. So Rook is going to, uh, he's at full health. Go ahead and renew all this. All right. Uh, so he does get four stamina because he is hasted. Uh, he definitely does not have, does he have line of sight? No, there's just no way. All right. So he'll spend a stamina to move. Uh, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, four. Actually, we'll go here. That should work. All right, uh, and then he's going to go ahead and cast. He's going to cast Courage Stifle. No empower this time, just straight up. Five plus six is 11. 12, okay. That's fine. Uh, goes to Remy. Uh, Remy is going to get rid of Condemn with the, the font. Uh, she's going to get three stamina. She's going to spend one to move. Uh, she's going to go one, two, three, four, and get out of there. For right now. Was it four, five? Actually, no, not that way. That's bad. Why would I go that way? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go there. Okay, um, and then she's also going to go ahead and reapply uh, Courage. Unfortunately, we have no way of reapplying Haste now, because our person that had Haste is now down. So we'll go ahead and reapply Courage. Then it goes to Elifi. Uh, Elifi is disease, so we'll remove the disease first. She'll get three stamina. Uh, she'll spend a stamina to move. Actually, you know what? She will, yeah, she'll spend a stamina move. That's fine. She'll go here. Okay. Uh, then it goes to Blighted Hendrix. We'll roll poison. I've rolled three ones in a row with the poison. That's good. Uh, there are people adjacent. Uh, move, uh, so it's going to be a straight line through an adjacent opponent. Um, it will target um, highest initiative, so it will be Nightingale. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty much going back to where he was. This will nudge her this way, uh, nudge you this way. We'll go ahead and roll a uh, purple die for Femke first. One damage. And then a purple die for Nightingale. Three damage. All right, could have been worse. All right, uh, then he attacks everything in adjacent, which there aren't any, thankfully. Uh, then he's going to oh actually if there was a if it was equal distance uh, he would actually pick the route that would get him get him the most um, hit the most uh, cages but neither route got got him any closer to cages all right uh, so nothing adjacent. He's going to cast spell six with an opponent with an SOI with the lowest conviction value, uh, which is going to be actually Rook, because Rook actually has two purples now. All right, so casting die. Six plus six is 12. We get to roll two purples. All right, I get to re-roll it with nano robes. All right, uh, he gets paralyzed. Okay, so he's paralyzed. Then he will go uh, uh, spell six against two farthest opponents. Uh, the two farthest, uh, one is Femke. And it's a tie between everyone else. So it's going to be Femke and uh, Nightingale again. So casting, spell six. 
6 plus 6 is 12. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll Nightingale's Conviction. All right, fails. Uh, she's going to take a bunch of damage and all that nonsense. And then roll for Femke. Good job, Remy. You still have yet to pass a Conviction check. All right. Um, so what's going to happen here is he's actually going to pull that. and uh, Actually, he can... He gets to pick the the order, uh, but I'm going to go by initiative, so it's going to be this way and then this way, because that's pulling as close as you can get. Um, and then I need to roll purple die of magic damage. Uh, one damage. It does round up, so it'll do one damage to both of them. Okay. We need to get Nightingale away from this guy. <laughs> um, all right, goes to Femke. Uh, Femke is going to heal for two. Putting her at that. Um, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, at this point, I'll go ahead and attack in place. Uh, I'll, I'll do False Idol. Uh, get three stamina. All right, uh, False Idol on uh, Hendrix. I'm attacking through an ally, so minus one. Uh, so that's 17 in total. Or sorry, eight, uh, 16 in total, because it's attacking through an ally and to hinder, uh, hindering. So it's minus two. So 16, so three damage base. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, thirteen, 13, and then 15 because of wilt. So 15 damage in total. We're halfway there. <laughs> uh, then spend a stamina to do a uh, quick blow. All right, it's a skull, so everything you want will trigger. Uh, 13 minus 2 is a miss. He is going to counter. He can't counter Femke, so he has to counter somebody else uh, that's in the way, uh, which the person that's in the way is Nightingale. Nightingale will try to dodge using Hodio Deflection. So go ahead and roll that. All right, uh, so that's going to bring her to 14 defense. Oh my god, are you serious? Uh, that's going to finish her off. There's no way of getting around it, unfortunately. I was hoping to, uh, you know, not die, but <laughs> there's not much I can do about it. So there goes uh, Nightingale. So Nightingale's off the board now, uh, which is kind of bad because she's definitely one of our top DPSers, but not much we can do about it now. Um, and then I'm going to spend my... It's, it was a miss, so I do lose Courage. I'm going to use the last two stamina and go ahead and exhaust um, Brutal Slaughter and attack one more time. And it misses. Okay. Uh, that is it for Femke. Goes to Damocles. Damocles will heal for two. On exhaust all of his stuff. Um, he does have Reach, too. Oh, it has to be adjacent to an ally. Okay, then never mind. He can't do it. Uh, he'll recover... Three stamina, and I think he's just going to hang out for a bit. All right, uh, goes to DM. Uh, DM's going to get three stamina. Uh, she's going to heal for one. And uh, we'll do. Uh, I'm going to spend two stamina to move. And go one, two, three, four, five, six. So like that. Uh, then I'll do false idol with resonance and attack and miss everything you want. Thirteen minus one is twelve, which is a miss. All right. Uh, then it goes to Blighted Hendrix. Let's go ahead and roll that poison. Oh, you did two damage. Good job, Rook. <laughs> All right, so it's at 155 now. Um, no one's adjacent, so it's uh, so it's going to go ahead and do SOI. Target two farthest opponents. Uh, it's going to be Femke and Rook this time. So we'll roll for um, casting. Four, four. Uh, it'll be ten in total, so Rook. I'll roll for him. Uh, conviction. It's just two purples. He passes. Yay for tens. Um, and then for Fremke. Also passes. Okay. 
Um, and then that's and then what's going to happen is since he couldn't do any of that stuff, he'll just move to be adjacent to the nearest opponent. Also, I did forget one thing. Um, when I ended my turn um, with Nightingale next to the Blighted Hendrix because she was paralyzed, um, she should have taken purple dye damage and got poisoned and diseased. Um, but I for completely forgot. It doesn't matter since she died. Uh, she never even got a chance to act because um, she was diseased and paralyzed, so I had to get rid of the disease first. So that was my mistake. Okay. Rook goes first. He is paralyzed, but I'm going to go ahead and remove it with um, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, Font of Renewal. So go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, he is hasted, so he'll get four stamina. He's the only person that's hasted now. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and provoke the break attack. Actually, no, I will not pro provoke the break attack. Uh, give me one moment. Okay, I was just confirming his stamina, sorry. Okay, uh... So what do I want to do here? Definitely don't want to stay here. Okay. Um, yeah, there's no easy way to do this. So I'm going to spend two stamina, and I'm going to go ahead and cast Courage Stifle. And get that going. 9 plus 6 is 15. Okay, he fails it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop Lonely Mountain to go ahead and give myself plus one armor. So that brings me up for... Uh, I am barriered, so that's going to be seven armor, so 14 damage. So 169. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and cast it again. Well, 10 this time. He also fails it, um, so he's going to take 12 this time. Actually, is it till end of turn? Until the turn, so he takes another 14. So I'll put him at 83. Okay, making some progress. Um, I'll spend uh, the last stamina to go ahead and move. We're going to go this way and provoke the attack from Blighted Hendrix. So let him roll his attack. Okay, it's 14, which would have been a hit. And I'll do three damage base. Sorry, two damage base. Um, three, four, five, six. And I have right now technically seven armor, so it does zero damage. Okay. And so that was one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just going to move away. Okay. Um, and then it goes to Elephy. Elephy's going to recover two. Get some stamina. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cast Gore Shot from here. I still get to use Justice's dice, so 13 in total. Okay, fails it. He'll take two. Um, and I'll actually take the damage and do another six. So 191. All right, we're getting there. Uh, I'm not going to go anywhere else. Uh, goes to DM. So DM is going to go ahead, uh, since the counter's already been used, uh, she is safe to kind of do stuff. So we'll go ahead and use False Idol with Resonance and attack. Uh, 16 minus 1, because I'm attacking, into, uh, attacking through somebody, so 15. So base damage is 2. 3, 4, 5. It'll do 5 damage plus Wilt, so 7. So 198. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and spend two more stamina to attack again. Actually, yeah, I'll do, I'm just going to attack because I'm not going to, I don't want to risk blowing myself up. Uh, 14, uh, minus, uh, minus one will be 13, so base damage is zero, plus one from shield, plus two from burst, so three damage, then wilt will bring it up to five. So we're at 203. We're two thirds of the way through. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and spend a stamina to move. 
and go one, two. Yeah, we're just going to go one, two the there. Okay. Uh, goes Blighted Hendrix. We'll roll for poison. Hey, five. So 208. Um, he is adjacent, so he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Actually, I think he ignores all terrain. Let me make sure that's true. Uh, surprisingly, no. That's probably something I made a mistake about earlier. I prob I should. I he actually gets he actually suffers from hindering terrain. So one, two, three, four, five, and then he just stops here, I guess. Or he can go one, two, three, four, five. Or sorry, one, two, three, four. Yeah, either way, it's not going to make much of a difference. Uh, he can actually. Uh, yeah, that's kind of strange. I checked it. Um, and, well, anyway, it's going to be um, uh, six irreducible to uh, Femke. And then he's going to attack Femke. Femke will go ahead and nimble dodge because she hasn't burned one yet. Uh, so she is up to uh, 17 defense. Okay, misses. Uh, don't have any way of countering. Uh, then he's going. To, it's going to go ahead and cast a spell with an SOI. It's only Femke. Femke's the only target. So casting die. All right, thirteen. Okay, fails it. He, she is now paralyzed. Okay, and then uh, going to try to pull people closer. Uh, only target. So again, it's apparently the entire tile, so that's why this is not going to connect. Uh, so it's just going to target Femke, uh, casting die again. 4 plus 6 is 10. Okay, passes, so no extra damage. And then uh, moves to be adjacent to the nearest opponent, which there are none. Goes to Remy. Remy is going to recover 2 and get a bunch of stamina. And uh, uh, she'll spend one stamina to go ahead and reapply Courage. Okay. And she's just going to hang out for right now. Uh, then it goes to Femke. Femke will get Cure from the Paralysis because of the font. That's it. And then uh, she is going to go ahead and spend... Uh, well, she is going to go ahead and go False Idol and attack. Uh, she is empowered. All right, so that is 18. Um, he is in hindering, so it's going to be minus one. So 17. Base damage is four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then 17 because of wilt. So that brings it up to 25. And then she's going to spend a stamina to go ahead. And oh, she should have gained three stamina first, and then spend a stamina to do quick blow and attack again. Okay, that's 15 minus one, which is 14, so base damage is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm adding the courage, and then it goes up to 12 because of wilt. Them key is amazing. Um, then she's going to spend two stamina to attack one more time and use brutal slaughter. All right, that's a miss. Everything you want. All right, 14 minus 1 is 13. This thing has 13 defense. So it's going to be base damage 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 14 because of Brutal Slaughter. And then 16 because of Wilt. Um, I'm also not done yet. Actually, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and move away. I think I'm going to have to do that. So I'm going to spend one of Remy's stamina to move away. So that's going to provoke an attack from Blighted Hendrix. I'll tri that'll trigger Nimble Dodge. Uh, that'll bring her up to 16 defense. 
16 exactly. So it's going to hit, and it's going to do two, four. It'll do four damage. So she's at 13, uh, which is fine. I'm just checking. It's all physical. OK. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to keep moving. So one. Uh, two, three, four. We're going to go like that for right now. All right. Actually, no. One, two, th uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll use one, uh, another one of Remy's stamina to get to there. Okay, uh, then it goes to uh, Blighted Hendrix. No one's adjacent. Uh, technically, she's not in SOI, just because of how apparently these things work. And same thing here. So no one's in SOI. So instead, it's going to go ahead and move towards nearest opponent. So it's it's going to move here. Also, I need to roll for poison. Uh, five damage. So 258. And then it goes to Damocles. Uh, Damocles will heal for two. Go up to max stamina. He's going to go ahead and pop sinful privilege and attack. Because some there's somebody adjacent. So attack. Uh, I'll go ahead and use the... Uh, Hammer Helm to reroll the four and miss. Uh, technically, I, I, he is out of range, so he can't be countered. And then we'll go ahead and spend a stamina to move. We'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, I'll actually go five to here. Okay, and that's the end of the round. New round. Okay, Blighted Hendrix goes first. Roll. I don't think anyone has a pager. Nope, no pagers. All right, so just going to be a straight roll. Uh, poison first. Five damage, so 263. Uh, then it's going to go ahead and pick an opponent that's adjacent. Uh, highest initiative is actually Damocles. And neither route actually goes through uh, anything else. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually, sorry, I did that wrong. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to put a uh, token there. Like that. That's going to do a bunch of damage to Damocles. It does six damage to Damocles, uh, which puts him at 21. Uh, then he's going to go ahead and attack Damocles. Uh, Damocles will try to dodge. I don't think he'll succeed, though. Uh, three, so he's up to 15 defense. All right, misses. Um, yeah, he'll just, I think he'll leave it at that. Uh, when he when he takes damage, oh, he does get a vow token from that uh, from that plow, so that'll put him there. All right, uh, then he's going to go ahead and cast spell. He's going to cast a spell against po uh, opponent with the lowest s uh, uh, conviction, uh, which is a tie between Remy and Femke. It'll go after Remy because Remy's higher on initiative. So Remy will go ahead and roll her Conviction. I'll roll my Casting Die. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11, you pass. Congratulations. All right, and then he's going to cast another spell on two opponents with an SOI that are the furthest distance away. That will be Femke and Remy. So we'll go ahead and roll that again. All right, well, that's 15. Um, good luck. I'll start with Remy first. And then I will roll for Femke. Okay. And then roll a purple die. Five damage. Ooh, that takes out Remy. So Remy's gone. And uh, Femke's going to take three. And then she's going to get pulled forward. Okay. Uh, Remy's off the board. And unfortunately, that means uh, Blight of Hendrix goes again. Uh, so he's going to gain 
he's going to take poison. 7 damage, so 270. I think we're going to be okay. Uh, he's going to plow through somebody. Uh, it's going to be Damocles, because he's higher up on the initiative. So he's going to go... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then he's going to attack uh, Damocles. But actually, he's going to just kill Damocles. Yep, that'll kill Damocles. He had 22 health. So Damocles is gone. And then he's going to go ahead and make an attack against Femke. Uh, or not Femke, DM. Uh, DM is going to go ahead and make a dodge check uh, with Nimble. Oh, that's not a good start. All right, here comes the attack. Uh, 12. Um, they actually have 13 defense, thanks to Remy. Actually, she's gone, so I guess that discipline's no longer active. So, actually, it technically hits. So, it will do 2 damage. Okay. Uh, then it's going to go ahead and attack, uh, cast a spell on against opponent with the lowest conviction value, who's not immune. Uh, it's going to go after DM, because DM is higher up on initiative. Uh, 13 in total. 14 in total. Good job. So resisted it. And then it's going to go ahead and cast a spell on both the twins. So 7 plus 6 is 13. We'll start with uh, DM first. Okay, nope. And then Femke. Also nope. All right, uh, let's go ahead and roll that purple die and half it, because it's magic. Uh, 2 damage. So 2 damage to DM. Two damage to Femke. Okay, and then that's going to pull her one, two, three to there. And DM's already there. Okay, and that is it for Blighted Hendrix. Goes to Rook. Uh, Rook will get four stamina. One, two, three, four, five. He's in range, so he's just going to cast spells from here. So casting die. Seven plus six is 13. 13. All right, cast again. 5 plus 6 is 11. All right, fails it. I'll go ahead and pop uh, Lonely Mountain and do 14 damage. So 284. And then it goes to Elifi. Elifi is going to heal for 2. Oh, sorry, no, it goes to, uh, actually it goes to DM first. So I reset the health. Uh, DM is going to heal for 2. Get three stamina, putting her at four. Uh, she's going to go ahead and oh, again, I keep forgetting about the stupid ability about rotting Hulk. Um, so Damocles probably should have died sooner. That's my bad, because I think I had him stop next to him. Yeah, I did. Uh, so he probably should not have. Uh... So that would have changed things, actually. It would have probably caused it, him to charge this way. It honestly will not break the game, or break the break this combat. Like as you can tell, he's even though we're losing people, um, he's just going to bleed out from from all the poison. But yeah, I think what would happen was he sh when I when I moved Damocles to here, it should have just ended it there, and he would probably had to play, uh, plow this way instead, or plow left instead because all that extra damage but i'm not gonna worry about it i that was just my bad all right um that is just way too <laughs> i'm it's like 3 a.m right now so i kind of just want to finish this up um anyway it's dm's turn uh, i'm gonna go ahead and pop uh false idol and resonance and make the attack uh 13 you're not in hindering. I'm. We're also flanking, so plus one, so fourteen, so one damage base. Two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. I'm actually gonna go ahead and not do resonance. Uh, seven, eight. Uh, then another three from backstab is eleven, and then thirteen. Let me make sure I did that right. So four. It's fourteen in total because I pl from flanking. So it's one damage base, two, three, four, six, eight, and then backstab is 11, then 13. Yep, so 
puts it there. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and spend two stamina to attack one more time. Uh, 14 uh, minus or plus one, so that's 15. So it's going to do two damage base, three, four, uh, five, six, nine, because of backstab, and then 11. That'll finish them off. So yeah, just to kind of talk about what I made a mistake on, I think I moved, I ended up moving uh, Damocles here originally because I wanted him to get charged through, um, which that still would have happened, but that charge through would have killed him because he would have taken at least up some purple magic damage from the um, being next to him. Uh, so that was the mistake I made. And if that were to happen, um, the situation would have been, he, Hendrix would have been here, Damocles would be dead, fin, uh, Femke would be here, and Light of Hendrix would run this way. Uh, so it would have just rampaged in this direction, um, which would have done some nasty things to Rook and Elifi, uh, but then there wasn't really much of a follow-up plan after that, because like I said, the bleed would eventually just catch up, and uh, I of course got my spells off of Rook, so it it honestly would not have made a difference. Uh, no more loot, because there's literally no cards for me to draw, um, but we do get to get his uh, medium card, UM24, gain the augmented monocle. So we'll go ahead and grab that. UM24. Draw. And it gets us this thing. It's uh, a core. Uh, plus three defense. Conviction upgrade green, which is great. Your perception becomes seven. You become immune to darkness. And then once per, uh, once per encounter, an opponent with an SOI gains the nemesis token. Uh, I'm not... I'm honestly not a huge fan of the Nemesis token. It honestly doesn't feel like it does much. Um, but maybe I'm just like misreading it or something. But we'll go ahead and grab the Augmented Monocle because it's awesome. Uh, more than likely, I don't know who I would give it to. Probably... It'll probably be Rook. I mean, the plus one armor is nice, but I think... Actually, the health is what he really needed. Well, somebody will get it eventually, but that's what we got. Um, also, um, restore all adventures, and we all get one experience. So I'll go ahead and take care of that now. And uh, that'll be it. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, I got a lot of editing to do to kind of figure out <laughs> how long these videos are, but... Uh, I am the Depressed Eeyore. This was uh, Madara on Tabletop Simulator. See you guys next time.